Surgeons at New York University said on Tuesday they have successfully transplanted genetically engineered pig hearts into two human bodies, moving a step closer to a long-term goal of using pig parts to address the shortage of human organs for transplant. The hearts functioned normally, with no signs of rejection during three-day-long experiments in June and July, they said at a news conference, adding that transplants were made in two brain-dead patients after obtaining consent. Dr. Nader Moazami is the surgical director of heart transplantation at NYU Langone. It brings me great excitement to tell you that uh, the function of the heart was uh, excellent. We did have to make some technical surgical modifications at the time of transplantation. Part of that is because the pig heart is very similar, but is not identical to the human. The director of NYU Langone's Transplant Institute, Dr. Robert Montgomery, was encouraged by the data collection that was possible in these particular trials. We were able to, in real time, capture, um, you know, everything that was sort of going on um, during that 72-hour period. Um, In the, the case where the recipient was a living human, they weren't able to do that. The experiments followed the death in March of a 57-year-old man with terminal heart disease who made history two months earlier at the University of Maryland as the first person to receive a genetically modified pig heart. The reasons why his new heart failed are still unclear. NYU procured the hearts from Revivicor, a biotechnology company that seeks to end the human organ shortage by providing gene-edited pigs. The pigs had a total of 10 genetic modifications to prevent rejection, abnormal organ growth, and incompatibilities between pigs and humans. The 72-hour experiments produced preliminary data, leaving many questions to be answered before starting pig heart trials in living humans.